Jared. Hello, Jared. <laughs> it's the two Jareds. We're back again. I'm Jared. This is also Jared. I'm Jared too. Um, Jared number one, Jared number two. He gets number two because he's younger than me. Mm, um, you probably right. can't tell that on camera, but it is true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, look, this is just a, just a, well, not really informal, it's formal, but a relaxed catch up about something that I'm personally very, very excited about. Yeah. Just, was it two weeks ago, we were over in Melbourne for the release of the new CA79 and 99. Yes, correct. 99 hasn't arrived yet, but the CA79 arrived yesterday, mm. and I personally put this together. Fresh out of the box. Yes, absolutely, with my good friend Curtis. And um, everything that I remembered about two weeks ago just came flooding back to me. And, and I, you know, I've been doing this for 35 years, I don't get too excited about new products often, but this thing is awesome. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the replacement or for its predecessor, the CA78, yeah. which was one of my very favorite pianos mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of good reasons. and. Every now and then, you know, guys, um, like I said, I've been doing this for a fair while, you get a new model comes out and it's kind of just a rebadged what it was before. Um, occasionally a bit better, um, sometimes even, not very often, but sometimes worse. In this case, we're talking about a big step forward for what was already one of my very, very favorite pianos. So let's go through and talk about the CA79 and why I think you'd be very, very proud to have this piano in your home. Okay, now the first thing I noticed, Jared, let's, let's go from the outside in. Yeah, sure. Um, the cabinet, tell me about the cabinet. Yeah, so we've uh, done a bit of a redesign on the cabinet, some nice modern design with uh, rounded edges, yep. um, nice flowing kind of lines and curves and all that sort of stuff. So a real uh, improvement, a nice modern looking design, rather than typically digital pianos can be seen to be a little bit boxy and all a little bit square. A bit um, Ikea-ish. A bit Ikea-ish, so mm. yeah, we sort of modernised it a little, uh, giving it some really nice sleek lines and sleek design. Well, it's a solid top, that's nice. That's a really nice solid yeah. lid, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. Yep. So this is the black version, comes yes. in rosewood? Also rosewood, and uh, a little bit later will also be available in a gloss black ebony polish. Fantastic, yep. so those three options, excellent. Um, so that's the case, it's nicer. Um, let's talk about the key bed, because this has been Kawhi's strength uh, from the CA48 mm -hmm. upwards, we've got this Proper, actually, I've got the action up here. Right here. Um, we've got a proper wooden key stick in an action. Uh, we'll get some close ups and pictures of this later on, but nothing else like it. It's not a plastic key with the old version, sort of with a bit of wood stuck on the side and marketed as wooden keys. This is a proper wooden keys, exactly that you would see in, in a piano, in a proper acoustic mm -hmm. piano. Um, so that, that's that's what we had in the old version, yep. but it's changed a little bit. So the this is now called the Grand Field 3, so Correct. version 3. Yes. Tell me about that. Yeah, so this, we were actually looking at the Grand Field 2. Uh, yep. So this is the older version. However, the key stick is exactly the same. So a nice extended very length long. key stick, very yep. long key stick, uh, giving you a real good sense of, of being able to play the key. Play, play really nice and evenly right at the back of the key, having yep. that extended length. Yep. Uh, but what we've improved on the Grand Field 3 is we've given it uh, a brand new uh, way of actually activating the hammer, which is a lot more uh, durable, a lot more even across the whole key bed. Uh, so a really nice feeling by the way that the hammer is actually activated when you press the keys. Uh, and also some improvements in all the cushioning, so it's a, a real uh, solid feel. So yeah, uh, yeah some real great improvements in the new Grandfield 3 action. Yeah, as, as um, those have seen the videos I've done before, you may know I'm a, I'm a, a piano tuner technician, concert level, work on grand pianos a lot um, and the feel. Uh, can I tell the difference between the Grandfield 2 uh, and the new version? Absolutely. Mm. It's, it's definitely got a, a better, more solid, sturdy yeah absolutely there's just something a little bit more uh, almost you know like robust about it like you play you yep. really feel that you can, you can dig into it and and it and it um just gives you all that stability that you want out of your playing yeah for me it feels more like the real thing yeah, yeah. well that's what we're always and going that, for and that's so. what we're aiming for yeah. so that's the key bet look it is a winner and and continues to be the market leader w without a question um from my point of view anyway oh that's awfully <laughs> kind of you well, i agree you know. <laughs> so that's the key bed Excellent. What else have cha has changed in this piano? Uh, so we've done a few improvements within the actual sound source of the piano as well. So this is, we have what's called our SKEX rendering sound engine, which is using multi-channel sampling is what so, it's called. So for those of you that don't know, the SKEX is Kawhi's top of the range concert grand piano. Mm -hmm. Um, and is is widely used and respected around the world in competitions is, is an amazing piano. Absolutely. So we, we've we've sampled that 
concert grand piano that we have, our Shigeru yep. Kawai. Um, however, we're using what's called multi-channel sampling, which there's microphones at multiple points around yep. that piano during the sampling process, as opposed to typically you just have a left and a right stereo microphone sample. Yep. We've got multiple microphones across the piano picking up all sorts of different sounds. So we've but, done... But you were doing that before, weren't you? We were, but we've improved uh, the way that this engine is, is now producing the sound. So there's a few extra little things that have added in. For example, one is called the hammer noise, um, which in, in Japan they call it the kotsu sound, which loosely translates to knocking. knocking. Yeah. Um, so when you're playing on a grand piano, the action, it's not just the hammer hitting the string and, and the sound of the string uh, coming out, there's all sorts of other thuds and clunks and, and percussive also, noises. Percussive noises, yeah. absolutely adding to that sound, yeah. adding to the thickness of the sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've got all those in the sound engine now. Even the ability to go in and tweak it, you know, to add a little bit more or take a little bit out, add a little bit more resonance. So all those options are in there to to really create that sound exactly how you want it to be. Yeah, I was playing with that earlier actually, and oh, well, let's not get into it too deep. But basically, when it, when a hammer hits a string, the harder that hammer is the felt on the hammer, so sometimes the felt density is really, really hard mm -hmm. and too hard. Um, depending on, and it's kind of what you like, but anyway, if it's really hard, it, it has a very, very woody sound to yes, it. Yes, yes. Um, and as a technician, we try and take some of that and, and, and find that middle ground somewhere. But you can literally, with a dial of a button, make it more woody, less woody. It's just quite Absolutely, a, quite and, you, and you really hear the difference straight oh, yeah. away as soon as you're moving that slider, you yep. can yeah, really tweak it how you like. So as a pianist, if you're looking for that warm, cuddly sort of sound to, to, to be more romantic and everything mm -hmm. you can take less than that that if you want it to be jazzy and punchy and push yep. through yep. And, and on it goes yeah absolutely. so it gives you a lot of room for yep. for expressiveness doesn't absolutely it? yeah mm. so that's in the sound engine we've yep. also uh, made some really great improvements to the speaker system so tell me about that because I heard that straight away that's kind of weird I can't quite work it out what yeah have you so done it's that? something that that is unique to us unique to Kawhi we're the first manufacturer to have included anything like this and, it, and it's something that I'm, I'm actually really quite excited about so yep. Uh, on the top here, there's two topward, upward facing speakers. Typically, a digital piano is, is the sound field is created to sound great as the player sitting here playing yep. the piano. Yep. We try to get the sound as good as it is for the player. But what if you're playing for an audience? What if the piano's sitting there and you're playing to somebody? Typically, the sound that's being thrown out there is not as good as what you hear sitting here in the player position. Mm. So what we've added onto these two upward facing speakers are what are called uh, diffusers, speaker diffusers. And what okay. they do, it's a 360 degree uh, speaker diffuser which spreads the sound a lot more evenly throughout the whole room. You're right. Uh, if you think of like an air conditioning vent uh, in the ceiling, uh, yes, it's got exactly that on it. It's got a diffuser which spreads the air throughout yep. throughout the room. Yep. Otherwise, the air from the air conditioning would be coming straight down, creating you know a bit of a cold spot in one p part of the room and, and nowhere else. Mm. Uh, sound travels exactly the same. So we've added these uh, speaker diffusers on the top facing speakers, which gives that same sound no matter where you're sitting in the room. So whether you're the player, whether you're listening mm. uh, from a different part of the room, you're getting that same experience, a real even spread of the sound through the whole room. That's brilliant. So when I think about that on a, a grand piano, which is what we're simulating, yep. um, the whole soundboard works to push that sound out, that whole area of the soundboard, and the bigger the soundboard, the better it sounds. Absolutely. So by diffusing the sound through the speakers, you're trying to really simulate that, and really you are. Yeah. That's, that's very cool. Yeah, and being 360 degrees, it does give you a little bit sort of, you know, a little bit yep. more back into to you as the player, as well as spreading out behind you as well. So yeah, it's a really great feature, unique to Kawhi, something that we're the first to include in a digital piano. Brilliant. What about the interface? So you've still gone with this um, uh, mini iPad thing. Yeah, so we've got um, the touch, smart the touch screen. The touch screen interface yep. over on the left cheek block there. Yep. Uh, completely redesigned uh, the look and the feel and the design of it from the ground up. Yeah, um, totally different to the old one. Yep. Absolutely. So we put a lot of time and a lot of research into how people are actually interacting with pianos and what are the features that you use the most? What are the features maybe you don't use so much but still need to be included? Mm. Uh, and really taken, taken the way that the whole uh, interaction has been designed from how people would interact with the piano. So some really great graphics, real fresh interface, nice and easy, nice and simple to use. Uh, if you want to dig in further to a lot of the settings, it's quite easy to get to. But on the outset, it's just designed to be, turn it on, a nice simple piano interface. Yeah. Um, so yeah, redesign that from the ground up as well. So you've done that in Kauai itself? 
So Kawhi, Kawhi's do, doing that software. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All developed in-house. That makes me excited because yep. that means that any future um, developments we c can be integrated. Yep. You could do it through another smart device in the future, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. All so that'll things. be coming out in a few months as well, uh, the ability to control this piano um, with, with a similar interface, but from your own device, both uh, iOS or Android, yep. yeah, any device. So that'll be coming out uh, in a few months as well. Very exciting. Yep. Awesome. Mate, th this, it's, it's obvious to me that this piano was a real winner. I looked at the pricing, that hasn't changed much at all. So it's still mm. very, very, um, very well priced Absolutely. Uh, yep. for its competition. To me, it's the industry leader without a question. Mm -hmm. um, but here at Sound Center, we're obviously very happy to talk to you about all the brands. I, I really love this piano, Jared, and I think you've done, you, you, you personally, because I know you've been involved mm. as well, and Kawhi um, have continued to do an am amazing job with, their with their, all of their pianos, but with their digital pianos. And, and for me, and I know I'm biased because I love the real thing, you know, the, the real grand <laughs> yeah, piano. Yeah. Um, but for me, they are industry leaders at trying to make it as close as possible to the real thing. Not to get too caught up in, yes, it can percolate the coffee and do these other things. It sounds, feels and responds like a piano. Absolutely. And, that, and that's one of the advantages we have as Kawhi. We've got you know, well over 90 years of experience in building acoustic pianos. It's, yep. it's where we started. It's our heritage. There's a long history there. Uh, so we have that, that real advantage of being able to bank on all that knowledge and, and incorporate as much of that into our digital product as we can for, like you say, the, the, the reason of trying to give as authentic a, an experience as you can without necessarily all about making coffees and all that sort of thing, all those little bells and whistles, there's a lot you can do. Mm -hmm. um, but at its core, it's really designed, just turn it on and give a nice authentic piano experience. Yep, absolutely. So guys, that's the CA79. It's a real winner. Encourage you to come in and have a look. Very soon, in the next week or two, we'll have the new 99 coming out. Mm -hmm. And we'll do some videos, of course, some more in-depth things about what they can all do and uh, et cetera, et cetera. This really is just an introduction video to show you and to explain to you that this is a, a wonderful piano and well worth your time and effort to come in and have a look at. We'll see you really soon here at Sound Center.